Hello everyone. My name is Natish. Uh, I work as a so scientific software engineer at Aliander. Uh, I'm also a developer at the Power Grid Model Project, uh, on which I'm going to give a talk now. So it is a high-performance distribution uh, grid uh, power system analysis library. Yeah. And the next slide. <laughs> oh. It's not plugged in. Oh, that's maybe why. Oh. No magic. Now give it a try. Boom. And yes. So in this presentation, I'm going to uh, mention why do we need this project? How did we uh, come across building this? So what does the library do? And uh, how does it perform compared to other solutions that are already available in this space? And how do we use this within uh, Aliander, which is a Dutch DSO, uh, for its own uh, products and applications? Uh, there's also some talk about open source, since we are open source and we would like new contributors as well. Uh, in, in a traditional way, uh, up until a few years ago at least, uh, the power system analysis used to happen uh, within the DSOs, TSOs in uh, this way. The electrical engineers would usually have some data files where they uh, run the uh, calculation in a GUI-focused uh, software where we have built-in presets for running the calculation and we get only certain results and then we make decisions on whether to add a new transformer, add a new cable um, and such components within the grid or not. If the grid can handle uh, more solar panels, if the grid can handle more uh, EVs uh, or not was done using uh, this way. But now with the new smart meters and, and EVs and renewable energy, uh, we have to do a lot more. And for that, we have to have all of the uh, data of the smart meters, which is in a really huge volume in a database, uh, where also lies our topology and electrical parameters. And then we cannot just use a custom, uh, we cannot just use a preset of uh, the calculation method. So we have to have some customization available over there, and then we have to uh, do the calculations in the cloud because these uh, calculations are in the set of millions now because uh, because we are trying to uh, simulate the entire year for example of uh, time series and and the volume increases a lot so uh, why did we decide to make this and what uh, yeah what makes a good power system analysis library so around at, I think 2018 or so, uh, Aliander faced a problem where we did not, uh, where we were not able to do this uh, using any of the open source software or or the commercial software. Uh, we faced these pa pain points actually, and then we decided to uh, make the library, which are focused on uh, around them. So we needed a, a well-defined software API. Uh, that's, that's because we want this uh, calculation library to be part of a really bigger application which does a lot of things uh, apart from just calculations. And uh, we also wanted this uh, library to be cross-platform uh, and, and scalable so that we can use it within, uh, within the cloud. And of course, since the volume is in millions, high performance and parallelization was needed. Uh, otherwise, you might have to wait for a month or so to get results, which is not adequate, and if it's in cloud, it costs you money as well. Uh, that was in 2018, by the way, and uh, after that, uh, at, at that point, uh, Power Grid model was inner source within Aliander. Uh, we had some applications in 2000, uh, in, in 21. Uh, then we made it open source at around uh, 22. And we do have a lot of applications now, which I'll cover soon enough. Uh, what the library does, so it uh, does some calculations, 
especially the power flow calculations, state estimation, and short circuit calculations for both uh, single phase and three phase uh, grids. Uh, we have many uh, algorithms which, with which we can do this. And uh, these sum up uh, the calculation functionalities in, in, a, in a really short way. We have a huge focus on the software side of the library uh, because, uh, yeah, because of the pain points that we did mention before, uh, I did mention before. So we have a native shared memory multi-threading, uh, and that enables us to uh, do the parallelization for batches uh, and, and as many cores as, as possible when we do deploy it in the cloud. Uh, and yes, the implementation is in C++. Uh, and the API for the users is in Python, if they wish to use it. And uh, it's well documented. Uh, it's, it's quite stable. And then we have the binaries available in uh, PyPy and, and Anaconda for the Conda Forge. And uh, we have uh, support for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, all three of them. And uh, since making this uh, library is not just enough, we have to uh, show that these calculations are actually correct as well. And for that, we have done uh, the validation of the library uh, against, uh, against some theoretical hand calculations at the start. Then uh, Vision and Kaya, which are uh, commercial softwares, we, and, and also Power Factory, we validated the library against them. And Panda Power, which is another uh, open source uh, library. Uh, so we validated against these uh, softwares. And then uh, we use them as a reference for each new revision of power grid model. Uh, so it's part of our CI pipeline. If, if any of the new features do not uh, comply with it, uh, it won't, yeah, that, that, that should not be merged then. How does it perform compared to other libraries? Because, uh, yeah, there are a lot of libraries within this domain. Uh, we have some more presentations now as well about them, and each one has its own uh, specific. Uh, plus point. Uh, and the plus point of Power Grid model is its performance. For the performance benchmark, uh, the link is in the presentation if you wish to uh, do the benchmark yourself. Uh, we try to compare it uh, with, with Panda Power and OpenDSS to get an idea of how it performs. And we found that the performance in case of Panda Power is uh, almost 20 times of uh, uh, of their uh, calculation, which was a huge boost and will really help in uh, doing these calculations much faster. So these were the symmetrical calculations. And uh, the asymmetrical calculations is where power grid model shines as well. Because we as a distribution, uh, I mean, when, when it started as a distribution uh, analysis library within Aliander, this was really needed at that point. So the, uh, the newton raphson for Panda Power is, is around 100 times. And with open DSS, uh, we have to compare it with iterative current that was four times faster uh, than that library. We have uh, data conversions as well, because uh, yeah, we, we don't have the best data model to store it. And hence, we, ha we have conversions to sim to SIM and uh, other uh, softwares that are used for power system analysis. SIM because we can then integrate with other applications throughout, uh, yeah, throughout this ecosystem. And uh, we currently use it within uh, 10 plus applications within Aliander. So it's a mature project at a production grade and uh, yeah, there are many applications. Uh, grid planning, automatic network design, automatic network design, uh, monitoring asset allocation, and congestion management. Since I do have some time, uh, within automatic network design, for example, uh, we try to uh, forecast what the effect of the grid uh, 
based on the EV growth will happen in the coming 30, 40 years, EV growth and the solar panels. And based on that, we, uh, we simulate this and then we identify the bottleneck, add the cable, run the simulation again. And in, in this automatic way, we design the whole network. That's, that's what this uh, application does. There are actually multiple congestion management uh, applications as well. So one is the active one with which we do real-time congestion management. Uh, we take in the measurements from the previous 48 hours and predict if there's going to be a congestion in the coming 48 hours based on uh, any planned ma maintenance, if there is any. And uh, the other type of congestion management that we also do, not present here, uh, it's on the uh, assessing the measurements of the entire year of this uh, past year and then what would be the congestion in the coming year. And based on that, we might offer uh, new contracts to our customers because uh, Netherlands, the grid in Netherlands is, is highly congested right now. We have a lot of people waiting for uh, new connections, but we can't add them. And hence, Power Grid model really helps in uh, making all of these calculations. Uh, for the open source, uh, you can just use the library and provide feedback. That's, that's a great contribution in itself. Report any bugs as well. Uh, that, that's really helpful too. And uh, you can also do the validation validation for the library with any test cases of the 80 cases that I mentioned. Uh, you can provide more and validate the library. You can improve. If you have an idea for a new uh, way to make the API, you can suggest that too. Or you can also add new algorithms and uh, make the code uh, more efficient in, in the C++ code. That's also possible. We have a good first issues uh, list of good first issues within the repository too, if you wish to have a look. So we have few uh, partners. <laughs> uh, so the, the, there are DSOs, TSO, uh, research institutions, um, yeah, universities, and other open source projects as well. Yeah, who do. Uh, use them, some of the DSOs, the DSOs do use them. Uh, Alianda does have, a, uh, uh, have, have those products as well as an access center and are also trying to add it to their uh, operations. That's all from me. <laughs> do we have any questions? Hello, thank you so much. This is, looks really, really, really cool. Um, I have one question. If I am running a project, hello, Chris Adams, Green's, uh, Green Web Foundation. If I am, uh, I've got a new project on to build a big solar farm or put like a 100 megawatt data center campus somewhere, can I use this to model how I might inter integrate with your grid to say, this is why you should let me build here, or possibly this is what is going to be the implication if we keep growing at this space? Yes, definitely. Uh, so uh, we do some calculations on our side. If we can, uh, we would be able to, I mean, like Alianda does it on its side, if it, it can integrate the customer. On the side of the producer, the producer does it so uh, it can identify if it's profitable to make this investment or not. If it's going to be, yeah, what, what would be the ROI in the coming years uh, based on what the grid uh, looks like? That's definitely what uh, the producers still do, and they do use the model of that. Okay. Um, hi, Peter Dudfield from Open Climate Fix. Thank you for the talk. Um, how did you say some other TSOs have used this? And how? Uh, yeah. And if they have, how have they? Have you had any feedback from them, and how they've how they found it? Well. Uh, I, I said that they are uh, active partners, so they did not actually use it. They are uh, Tenet and uh, RTE as well <laughs> are, are trying to look if, if uh, they could use this model. But uh, some of the core features of, of TSOs, 
uh, we do need to add them as well uh, and and that's that's uh, one of the you know the, the, that's one of the requirements from the PSO side but uh, yeah I mean if, if once that happens, uh, TSOs would use it as well. But the focus is primarily on the distribution uh, system analysis side. Yeah. In Germany, we have this uh, police uh, that the TSO tells you, please reduce your consumption. Can I use your project uh, for this calculation? So is it fine enough? Or is your project just a scope of uh, the complete DSO or a larger part of the grid. So can I use it for a single grid collection point or just for larger parts? Let me think if I got the question correctly. Uh, if you do have a single connection point and you wish to use the library, then uh, it does not, uh, the motivation would not be so that uh, what would be the condition somewhere, but if it would be a profitable thing for you, right? Uh, did I get it right? No, the D DSO uh, uses your library to calculate that tomorrow there's not enough energy. So he wants to tell some customers, please we to use your consumption tomorrow. Is the library able to calculate this for single connection, uh, quit connection points? So that I can really can say you and you and you have to reduce tomorrow? Or does it just uh, calculate a very... Uh, Yes. yes. Is it f just for a large part or also for a very narrow part uh, of the kit? Well, now I understood. Uh, nice point. The cal library does not d do that. It, it just calculates the uh, yeah the power flow results, the voltages, the powers. One of the applications that I did mention about the active congestion management, we uh, yeah. We we okay. We tell the customers to reduce their generations. We have certain contracts within Alliander to do that, but it's not part of Power Grid model. Yeah. 